All right, hello all of YouTube later. My name is Wildboy5699, and welcome to another episode of Wildboy Reacts. Now, this could be one of uh, the longest Wildboy Reacts videos I did on here. Now, just about a title, I'm going to be doing a reaction to video of this documentary that was uploaded like not even 10 minutes ago at the time of recording. This you probably be seeing this three days later after I did done recording because video pad takes a long time to render and save when I do a very long video. Anyway, today I'm going to be reacting to the video called Kefi, the infamous commercials documentary uploaded by Reese Production 11. Now, if you're not familiar with the KV commercials, there are a uh, the total of nine commercials from Germany. Basically, are starts off as relaxing music, calm videos, and something you get jump scared by a zombie and a gargoyle. And mostly, it was a uh, campaign. To, it was a campaign by KV to release to, to promote their drink, the KV Turbo drink, which um, a, for about for about maybe four or five years. After I uh, found these commercials back in 2010 or 2011, and I could not find any information on these commercials whatsoever. I did not know the lo nobody could find locations on them. Nobody can know the meaning behind them. Nobody can even find the actors. And then I got to talk to the gargoyle actor about three years ago. His name's Adam Johnson. Very very nice guy. I asked him a bunch of questions. I asked him a bunch of questions to uh, message him a couple years ago, and he was very kind to answer those questions I I uh, had. And the guy I also talked to the guy. I shared them. I shared. Um, I talked to the uh, guy behind this documentary a couple times. I sent send him my video, uh, my the the uh, uh, the messages. I, I asked him, and he was nice enough to get uh, to put me in this documentary. So he was said he was gonna shout me out. So we'll find that one anyway. Anyway, this is gonna, this total is a 43 minute documentary, so it's gonna go behind it. I know in this video he said he was gonna talk about the commercial, the uh, meaning behind the commercials. He's gonna in interview both the zombie actor Brad Johnson and Adam Johnson. He's gonna talk about the new fan made commercials by a name called by the name of Devin Miller. So he's gonna be interviewing him as well as there. So enough chit chat. I'm gonna do this video right away. If you wanna check out the original video, the link will be down in the description down below. Without further ado. Do. And by the way, I'm recording this on my TV. Uh, I'm not recording. It. I'm watching it on my TV because my computer very lags and it's very slow. And that's because that, that's the kind because I got shit quality shit software. But anyway, here we go to the video. Let's do it. 2005. That's Chris Tarrant. He's the host of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire in UK. The first jump scare video to ever be released on YouTube. That's right. Was it was uploaded. It was KB uploaded in 2005. This commercial in particular was named Auto. You got to focus on the car. Everybody got to watch the car. This is great. Focus on the car. Focus on the car. That's from Jay Leno. There was one uh, famously called Ghost Car. That's Toby Costa. Good guy. Views on YouTube. The famous commercials. Scared me, goddamn it! <laughs> I'm a scaredy cat. I'm a pussy. Ghost car, a video that we all know of, but most importantly, made you shit yourself. Yep, that's some good quality though. It looks like it's from a fucking movie. Here it comes. Whew. This video actually had other names such as Spooky Car Drive, Relaxing Car Drive, yep. Auto, and the one I always knew it as. Scary car. Yep. We won't be just looking into the original video is called Ghost, Ghost Car. It was uploaded in 2005. One of the first few videos uploaded to YouTube. How it was made, and really is stuff we want to know about it. And we'll be actually talking about the modernized Kefi ads as well. So, let's go. Kefi was a brand in Germany that released 20 second long commercials as a part of their ever been so wide awake campaign from 2004 to 2005 until unfortunately being cancelled due to reports of heart attacks and scaring children. Yep. <laughs> these ads were created with the help of John von Matt and Cobblestone Film Production. The way how these ads would work, they would begin with a very relaxing... That is some good quality. It looks like it's from a fucking movie. That's, that's, that's well Once done. 15 seconds of the video is up. <laughs> Sorry about that. The slogan of the Ever Been So Wide Awake would appear, but the thing I always noticed was the can would beat, almost simulating that the viewer's heart beats yep. after viewing the screamer. When you think about it, it makes... Sense. Now most people believe that ghost car is just the only one. Oh no, no. that was in fact nine. So this is the first in nine. There was fishing, yoga, meadow, surfing, beach, boardwalk, butter, golf, and of course, the one we all know of, auto. Yep. The people who played the infamous monsters in these commercials were in fact Brad Johnson and Adam Johnson. Yeah, but I talked to Adam, these very nice guy, very cool guy. This on me and the gargoyle. Now you may be wondering, who actually created these adverts? These adverts were in fact created 
by Kai Sir. And a big crew, in fact. And I'll be rolling up the credits now. Not the end, it's not the end. <laughs> I'm going to roll up the credits of the names of the people right now. Because, you know, I've got to give them credit. Because this is something, not alone infamous, but it's, it's an iconic video. And we've got to give it to them. In 2005, yes, he actually yes. received a silver line at the Cannes International Advertising Festival for his work in the key free campaign of the series of nine. Right. Slot, shot slot, do that, don't worry. First up, a spot for Romania's Surf Washing Powder, which was written by a team from BBH London, and a campaign from Hamburg's Jung von Matt for k that can only be described as an absolute scream. These are followed by two animalistic antipodean pieces, cow milking for Golden North ice cream from Bombora Adelaide, I've never seen and this tail before. wagging for Sony, directed by the sweet shop's Melanie Bridge. So you may be wondering how to come to YouTube. So it all began when YouTube began to surface on the internet. Yeah, the video, the original video was uploaded in 2005, but one of, not only, not only was the first jump scare on you, but it was one of the first videos to upload to YouTube. Mrs. Smithereen uploaded the video that would, in fact, terrorize your childhood and be your first nightmare. When it was first popular, people were using different, like, sort of stories and tricks to get people to watch it. The most common one was about the documenter who would talk about how there's a green mist behind the car and you had to look very, very closely. And also when you look close, bang. This video blew up on the media and in fact got into talk shows and actually got into some TV shows with some references. Oh, no, oh that's the office. I've never seen that one. I'm so <laughs> Aside from the TV show references, there was memes and parodies made of these adverts during the popularity. I've seen that clip. It's funny. <laughs> Fun fact, the guy who made that video lives in the same area as I do. I don't know who he is, but I've seen that he lives in the same area. was created by the Free Enterprise Fund Committee that aired in the US, most likely around 2006 when this was all going on. This advert wasn't created by Kiwi or made for a coffee campaign, but was actually a political commercial involving taxes. It apparently criticizes plans by the Democrats in Congress to raise the taxes. Well, that's stupid. The end text reads out, think that was scary? Liberal Democrats in Congress have plans for 2.4 trillion in higher taxes. The plan includes 27,000 yen high taxes for married couples. Now that's scary. Those people began to get confused with the end and what the video actually meant. This was later on as I was getting big. At first people just thought this was a video just created by some person just to prank people. But no, in fact this is, you know, an advert for a campaign for a coffee brand. As the video was getting big, some people in the comments actually began to explain how they in fact saw this on the own TVs in Germany. And some reports that had actually got banned for, as I said earlier, causes of distress. And apparently, there was rumours or that there was a warning sign before the video would, the advert would play on TV. I've, I think I've got it, but I don't know if it's official or not. Tell me down below if this is official or not. I found it online. Warning, I don't know. I'm not 100 percent sure if that is. It could be, could be not. I don't know. As this was all getting big, Keefe had to step in and confirm that this was a fact. One of their adverts for the Ever Been So Wide Awake campaign. Then they released the HD archive version of the advert to prove it to us that it was theirs. In December 2004, Keefe released four radio advertisements: investment, love, relaxation. Christmas. These ads were available in English and German. The way how these radio advertisements worked is they would have a um, professional voice actor describing the scenery, and then of course, as it goes by, a loud scream appears. But I personally find this a bit more dangerous because it's right. on the road and that happens. Yeah, they they can. Yeah. Christmas. Ah, Christmas time again at last, and we all have such wonderful childhood memories. Pretty little crooked houses with chimneys. I've heard these, so I should be good, not be getting scared. Ah, uh, yes. And the icicles glistening in the moonlight all around. The snow crunches softly under our feet. And when we come into the cozy warmth of our houses, they smell of delicious baked apples and freshly baked mince pies. And oh, how excited we are when we finally... Finally, hear the sound of signal countdown. The arrival Good. of Christmas. Ah! Ever been so wide yeah. awake? Gary, get out of the coffee with a coffee. 
I don't know if that's true so not so. In the adverts, it was a parody of the originals where they would essentially have the same back, like you know, stock footage as the background. And then, as we're expecting a monster to appear, it's actually just an unexpected or funny character that just appears. In the key feed light, I forgot what kind of drinks they were, but I remember there was a vanilla one, which is interesting. I think it's called. I don't. I'm, now, I don't know if they're still around. I had a dream the other night that I actually had KP in San Francisco for some reason. But there was a US in fucking uh, Largo, Florida, so. Ooh. Latte Macchiato. For the remaining years, it's been constantly recognised as the one that started the whole jump scare thing off. And most importantly, it started the whole thing off of not trusting people with when they send you videos. But yes, it is constantly being recognised when you see that thumbnail. You know exactly what it is, come on. We've all, we've pretty much all seen this video by now. In October 2016, a tweet was put up by Adam Johnson, stating that him and his brother Brad Johnson were in fact the two monsters that were yep. involved I never got the like I said, I never got to talk to Brad, but at the time I got to talk to Adam, he was very nice and answered all my questions I did ask. So very, very nice guy. Yep. Which is which shows him getting the makeup appliance put on for the gargoyle. Alright, so Reese asked me to tell you all how I first came across the Kefi advert, so why not? There's not much to it, but basically one day I was scrolling through YouTube when I found a video called The Relaxing Car Drive. Uh, keep in mind I was about 6 or 7, so I was too young to have figured out that they were obviously trying to trick me. So, without thinking, thought I'd check it out. Uh, in the moment my parents must have thought I'd sat on the cat, uh, I fell off my chair and ran out of the room screaming, and now here I am interviewing the people behind it. What a world, huh? But, either way, I doubt you just want to hear me ramble, so I'll let the video resume. Enjoy the rest of the interview. See ya. What's up, guys? Hey. What's up? How are you? I'm good, thanks. That's so, correct. do you know what to do today? Well, I'm not sure exactly. <laughs> you, what I mean, I know doing? what we're talking about. Yep. Yes. The thing that scared me in my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people. Yes. Uh, hi guys, it's me, Reese Brooks, and one and we're back with the guy himself, Brad Johnson. Yep. Hey, hey. The guy who, in fact, played the zombie from the Keefe Yards. Yeah. So, we really appreciate you being here today, Brad. Really do appreciate it. Yeah. So, it's really great to meet you. Yeah, great to meet you guys. Thanks. Oh well, yes, guy. and this is my friend Jamie. Sorry, that's an introduction there. Oh, yes, I'm here too. So, essentially, we're just going to be asking you questions about like your time in the, you know recording the key fiats and like the things we don't know that we want to find out. Yes. You know? <laughs> sure. So good secrets for the internet to know. <laughs> <laughs> So the first thing I personally want to know, and I think most people want to know, is how exactly did you get into the Keefe Yards? Like, what was the story? Like, how did you get in there? Uh, yeah, you know, it's not, I, it's not the crazy, it's not the, the most fascinating story. Um, but I'll tell you, my friend was shooting them. My friend was the uh, cinematographer. Oh. oh. Yeah. Bank Johnson is his name. He does a lot of really incredible work. And he, uh, he just called us one day, and he's like, hey, I've got these, I'm doing this commercial. And we tried using puppets to, oh, to really? do those scare puppets. Puppets. Yeah, like a like a little mask. We, we had mannequin. Yeah. And he's like, this is so wrong. Yeah. And I don't, don't think it would have had the same effect. Yeah. Didn't yeah. Really, really not. Yeah. So uh, so there's actually a series of them, and and I did some of them, and then my brother did some of them. Did you? Yeah. Did you, you know, there's a series. Okay. So my brother is is what they call Bat Boy. Yeah. And I was, yes. Yeah. Yes. And uh, yeah, so they just asked us to come down. So we were we were in LA, and it was just shooting at a studio, because they shot all the other stuff, you know, before we were around. So we just shot our stuff on a green screen. And uh, yeah, so we went down to the studio, sat in, in about four hours of makeup. Damn, oh, man. man. Yeah. <laughs> That's they took them longer like to make it on. It's the Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little bit. <laughs> We might have had a little bit bigger of a production, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, Jamie, yeah. do you want to ask a question? Yeah, alright. Uh, did you help get your brother into the adverts, or did, like, did someone else do did... Actually, you know, actually, it was our, our friend just called us both and asked us to both come down. They said, we want to try it two different ways, and so they That's did... That's the boardwalk, uh, yeah. So we both did it, and then I don't know if they... I think, I don't know if it was because of the success of the first one that they decided to do all these other ones. You know all those other versions. Yeah. But I, we heard a lot, like a lot of people were complaining because it was like causing people to have heart attacks. Really? 
Yeah, oh, she bought, like, problems for kids. Oh, <laughs> uh, really? So it got banned. I think it was banned in some places, I believe. Yeah. Right? I'm talking about that. Oh, sorry. Do you want to finish? Sorry. No, no. Yeah, about that, I heard that it aired originally in Germany, and then when it was first aired, apparently they had warnings before it played. Yeah. Don't blame oh, them. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's so funny. And it was so yeah. funny, because it was just like a, a quick little gig we did, you know, one day. It just, our friend called us, went and did it really quick, and did it, and it just never died. Yeah. It was funny, yeah. like, I've seen it, I've seen it on The Simpsons, like, where they're, where they're watching the commercial. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. Talk shows all over the place, yeah. It's yeah. Crazy. I actually yeah, found a video cool. that was the um, it was the start of like a Shining uh, spoof of The Simpsons, and then oh. someone aired it so it like there was like a jump scare from Homer while the car's driving wow. along the road. <laughs> <laughs> That's <Yeah>. awesome. <laughs> Got it. So you inspired that. That's awesome. Yes. That's cool. Yeah. Well, I wish I could say it was my idea. It wasn't my idea. <laughs> it was yeah. all you, no one else. <laughs> <laughs> so, Brad, what was your thoughts when you heard of the concept, like, you know, of the cafe? Like, what was your thoughts on it? Uh, I always thought it was funny. I, you know, I'm always down to, to uh, prank people and uh, <laughs> give a good little jump. Yep. And so, uh, yeah, it was really funny. It was, it was funny because uh, with all that makeup on and just walking around, Anybody that was like driving by or that saw us would uh, have a little panic attack. <laughs> what was that? This this is kind of unrelated to the whole KV thing. But uh, speaking of jump scares, do you have a favorite jump scare from a horror movie or like a piece of media or something? Oh my gosh, I you know what I, I don't I don't know if it's my favorite one, but it's a recent one, and it's a, it's actually a funny story because I don't I actually don't watch a lot of scary movies. <laughs> oh, but, surprising. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I mean I love them, because, but I think I get so wrapped up in them. Yeah. yeah. See, so, I'm gonna do this I like twenty thousand times. We were so actually sorry about watching that. Watching something else, but then a trailer for the Nun came on. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> right. And I've, I've seen never that. done this before. I swear this happened. I have never done this before, and I, I I was made fun of this for like the next for a long time. <laughs> but I actually did that thing where you get so scared that you you throw your popcorn. Oh, oh really? I actually yeah. Did that. I've never seen the trailer in theaters, but oh. I've seen. I've was seen this like a cinema? Yeah, it was at the cinema. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they got me good. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot about that. I've heard, because um, the same as the Keefe Eyes, the people actually complained about the nun, I don't think it was, but it just jumps at the screen. I heard about it a lot. Yeah. I also heard about the fact that um, some like a school of kids went to go see a film in cinemas, like a child's film, and then they'd made a mistake and accidentally played the nun trailer. No way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They probably so did that shit on purpose. Brad, right, um, just going back to the key ads, um, how long was like the, like, the makeup process for you? Uh, I, it was, I think it was about four hours. It took four hours. They like I, I actually have I don't know if I could find them. If I can find them, I'll send them to you. But I actually have these photos I took as I went through the process. Oh, that would be yeah. brilliant. Well, if oh, I can find them, we'll stick cool. them in here. Yeah, yes. that's really cool. Uh, I have some that my fun. brother has his. I know my brother has his somewhere too. Yes, yeah, I think one put up like 2016. Oh, oh yeah, have you seen that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you yeah. ever get any strange reactions, like from the app, from your family or anyone? Did you get any strange reactions? Uh, uh, like being scared, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, nobody. I mean, of course, I showed people. The, the thing is, it's like obviously, never re nobody recognizes me from the commercial because not only is it very short. Yeah, wait four hours of zombie makeup. <laughs> I don't normally walk around like that. All right. The funniest one is like when I when I used to show people, everybody'd be like, "Ah, oh, you tricked me! I really thought that was you." I'm like, "No, it really is me." I'm like, oh, no, no. I'm just trying to scare them. Yeah. So, I'm fine. Oh well. At least, at least they got jumped. Yeah. I'm scared. Actually, thinking about um, the fact that this video like surfaced and most of its popularity came from how it showed up on YouTube one day. Uh, how do you feel about all the fame that you got from there? Uh, well. I mean, really, I, I didn't get any fame from it. Really? Um, I, I, ha I actually, I mean, only a, a few people that are actually, like, diehard uh, zombie people or, or whatever have ever really tracked down who it was and contacted me. So I've only had, like, a handful of people that well, found out. <laughs> well, we can add to that handful. But that's cool. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. 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 Well, after this airs, uh, a lot of more people will know who you are. Yes. That's well, cool. uh, yeah, thanks.
thanks, man. Thanks. So hopefully we'll be doing more uh, horror movies or something. That'd be fun. Yeah, that'd be great. Well, and I can't wait to see the one you guys are making. Yep. Oh, definitely. Well, I don't know when that will air. I don't know when that will come. Right. So do a lot of we'll editing for it. Like next year. Cool, man. So, why did I say air? <laughs> air. We're putting it on TV. <laughs> yeah, why did I say air? <laughs> yeah. So, did any of the key features scares get you? <laughs> I don't know if they did, um, because it usually I found them by looking at, at them. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the only way they got me is when I was watching a different cave ad, and... Um, and then I thought it was going to be KP, but then it was actually, like, somebody was using it to do something else. And, and oh. Like, yeah. So I got tricked thinking I was watching KP. <laughs> That's a whole new wormhole, getting tricked into thinking you're watching right. yourself do a jump scare when it's actually someone else. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, actually, going on from the adverts, which one of the adverts is your favorite? Uh, well, I like the original, the, uh, the car. Like, that yeah. one's pretty... I mean, that's a great one. Yeah, you but can't beat it. The beach one too, because the beach one's pretty funny. The beach one, sca the beach one was the one that scared me <laughs> yes. the most, because oh, yeah, uh, me and my sister, we were going through the adverts, or like we just went through a compilation of creepy adverts. We were expecting them to be all like PG and stuff, yeah. and then that one showed up and the jump scare of like that point. We're like, ah! <laughs> the one that gets me the most has to be the meadow one. You know, the sunflowers. I hate that one. <laughs> Your face comes right in the camera. And yeah, I hate it. Right <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those are good ones. Yeah, they did a good, they did a good job. Yeah. It's <laughs> <It's> classics. <laughs> so, this is a thing that I think most people want to know. Were there any key fee ads that you shot that weren't aired that you know of? Or do you not know? No, not that I know of. No, I'm not sure. Yeah. Most it's like, it's what I know. Yeah, because like, one of the original stories that got people to watch the advert was that they said this advert was never aired because there was a ghost that appeared in it. And it's like, oh, watch the advert, and then you get got by the jump scare. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's just a trick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh huh. <laughs> well, yeah. well, I love when they do those. Those are fun. I know. Did you ever watch the rocking chair video? Uh, we it's like it's like a rock, it's like a rocking chair in a dark room, and then yeah, the, the girl from the uh, <laughs> the yes. Exorcist, yeah, the girl from the Exorcist runs at the scream, the runs at the screen. Oh, yeah, really? I don't think so. I don't know if I've seen that one. Well, I I, I might have seen that one, but you know what? Actually, that one you just reminded me of is I think it's called Lights Out. Did you ever oh, see what Lights oh, Out? Oh yeah, that oh. one. Is that oh, one? Um, that's a creepy one. Oh, I'm like. I don't know. Yeah, they actually got like a Netflix movie recently. No way. I yeah, know. it was it was uh, a good film. I liked it. Honestly, okay. Mark, it's been great having you. We yeah, really, wow. really it's really interview all there. Thank you, We really really appreciate it. Well, Jim thanks. I, let me know after you watch Small Town Crime. If you ever want to talk about that? All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yes. All right. I'll check it out. Thanks, guys. All right. Thanks. All right. Okay. Let's go. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Later Let's on. Let's go. All See you, man. Bye. See ya. Let's go. Who's next? Now we've got a bit of a kerfuffle here. So, when filming this um, interview, um, Jimmy forgot to connect his mic to the um, recording software, which means you can't hear his voice. I know. So, what we try to do is try our best to just kind of re record him saying the questions, but kind it's it'll make sense when you're watching it. If you notice anything that's a bit off, just avoid it. It was a mistake, and we tried to fix it up, so excuse that. Alrighty. So, I hope you're doing well. Hey, lad. I think you understand what we're going to be talking about today, like your, like your experience with the key for yards. That, most importantly, terrified us kids. <laughs> yeah. I think you knew that your brother, we interviewed your brother as well. And yeah. And so we want your side of um, experience, if that makes sense. Ooh. Yeah, man. I'm sure you learned from Brad. We didn't have a a whole lot to do with with everything, you know, with the creative process of it all. We just yeah. came in when they were they were having any issues. Anyway, yeah. How did you get involved in these adverts? That, well, um, we had a friend who was a cinematographer for these commercials, and he introduced us to the director, um, and he told us that they were shooting these these spots 
for this uh, energy drink, Kofi. I didn't know. I didn't know the drink before. <laughs> and uh, he said they were shooting these spots, and they, the ones they shot. I don't think most people knew what the they, drink was until then. Some um, props. They were just some, I think some heads. They were popping up into the frame. Yeah. And uh, as, as I remember, but they were doing that, and it, and it just wasn't giving the, the desired effect. And so he says, like he said to the guy, asked the cinematographer if he knew any actors, and then of course he thought of me and my brother, and uh, called us up. And it sounded like fun. Do a little makeup, take part of some little commercial, you know. Always yeah. up for a little adventure, and that's that's pretty much all we knew going into it. Yeah, it's it's uh so much you there, there's so much more nuance you can bring to something when it's real makeup and you know. I'm glad there's more pictures like and all that alive. too. So that's cool. Um, I mean, some dead object also has its own creep factor, but but there's just something about this living, breathing thing in your face, right? That's a little, it's a little startling. We had no idea how startling it would be exactly. Turned out, turned out to be pretty good. Oh, yeah. Alright, so what were your thoughts on the adverts before you started them? Yeah, it was pretty amazing, the, the, uh, the response. We were, you know, we didn't think much of it. I mean, you do these little things and, and they're, they're fun and, and, you know, you just do one after another. And, and this one popped back. I'm like, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then you start seeing them different languages and then you hear about success. You hear about all of a sudden what, uh, the company was being sued because they were <laughs> I did not know that loud and scaring people, scaring children at home, and so they were being sued to like <laughs> turn the volume down <laughs> on the commercials. You heard about that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, you know, we're just we're just actors living in Los Angeles and waiting, you know, going on our next commercial auditions or reading for our next theatrical audition, and so when we got another call from our vibrating bank to who I said, you know, was a cinematographer. But, um, yeah, man. It's like, what are you guys doing? You want to come down here and hang out for a few hours? I'm like, sure. Put some makeup on. You know, I mean, that's one of the most fun things about being an actor. It's like, oh, we get to go down and, and transform and be something else and yeah. just make up. I think I was cool in... Cool being an actor. Some of uh, I was in makeup for three and a half hours, I think, because I, I was in a lot longer than Brad's. Brad's was the zombie, which which... I think was the cooler of the two, just you know, because of the the movement that was involved. It just it was cooler. For, I think it worked better for this app. But um, but mine was gnarly. It was pretty gnarly, man. It was a long time. You know, I had a great makeup artist. To, it probably took about that much time, probably longer to take everything off. But but sitting there and, and doing that transformation is really fun. So you know, I. I we had zero expectations on for what it was before, and so we just thought, oh, this would be a fun little project to do. Mm -hmm. Really didn't know, and it was like a super, it was super low-key, you know? It wasn't a big fanfare, it was, there wasn't a lot, hey, you know, it, it was, uh, it was in some small studio they would rented somewhere, a tiny little place, because all we had was, well, you know, they had, they, they had a green screen, and then they had a camera, Yep. We, just, we just kept popping up, <laughs> you know, kept popping up in the camera and come popping back down. I don't know, we did it for like, geez, I don't know, maybe even just 15 minutes each, you know. That's cool. And that was about it. So we're like, yeah, okay. We come up and, you know, work on different ways we can come in and bring a little danger into it or whatever. What's the most terrifying? The breathing in and, and just like, you know, all the visceral you know, intensity that might come in the, just out of nowhere. Yeah. Would, uh... Actually, the beach one was the one that scared me the most out of all of them. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, um, I found it on a video that me and my sister were watching. Uh, I mean, it was just a compilation of random commercials, and when that one came on, it, uh, we weren't expecting it, and it scared the hell out of us. Fantastic. You said that was you and your sister? Yes. Oh, man, that's really... I mean, it's really fun, you know, it's fun to be a part of something like that, that has an effect on people and it has a, you know, it, it leaves people with memories of, of something, you know. <laughs> I was going to ask um, how long is the makeup process, but I also heard, yeah, I also heard that the makeup artist wasn't paid enough, so you had to get the makeup off yourself, right? Is that correct? Yeah. 
Yeah, oh. we what did he give us, man? Uh, I mean, he told me that. That was a message he sent we, to me. What did Brad say? I think we, we he gave us like seventy five bucks or it, to go to come down there, and we're like, sure, yeah, whatever, man. We'll just come down. Yeah, you know, make a little bit of money, sure, hang out with our buddy. And uh, sounds like fun. <laughs> the makeup artist there forever. Then he's like, uh, anyway, here's some makeup remover and some cotton balls. <laughs> <And he's> like, <laughs> Just get in the shower and you know, let it come off. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, no big deal. God, it was it was a long time. I was pulling that stuff out forever. I had to shave for it. I don't remember if, if I was if I had shaved before. I think I had, I had to shave for it. Oh. You know, super intense. It was like all my ears, you know, oh. just everything. Just, that stuff was it was gnarly. So you have a whole. I mean, if it was a proper job, it would have been. You know, good seven hours of makeup. Yeah. Putting it on and taking it off. Yeah, I've, I've learned since then. I was like, if, if they're going to put something on there, I'm going to go ahead and get the makeup artist to help me take it off. Right. You know, get a little help. Yeah. Well, man, I've had I've had a lot of makeup on, and it sure is nice when they're there to take it back off. True. Uh, was anyone scared of the makeup you were wearing while you were on set? Um. Did we? We might have scared ourselves somewhat. Yeah, I look in the mirror, because it was just the four of us down there. Yeah, I have done things before where I did a movie where I was just completely bloodied up. You know, and you forget, you're driving home, you stop by the grocery, you know, the little 7-Eleven or something to pick up some snacks. <laughs> you forget, you're wearing all this stuff, and they're like, they're like, you okay, buddy? You need me to call somebody? But um, in this case, we were just on our little... She was just on that little set, and uh, I mean, I'm sure I drove home with plenty of gunk on me, but I think we tried to peel off most really? of it. Yeah. So, on when you were filming these ads, the green screen parts, what was what did you get told to do for the jump scares? Like, what did you get told to do? Yeah, I mean, there wasn't, there really wasn't, you What's know, new? a whole lot of uh, something to go off of, mm. other than just like. Mm, they're just like shouting out stuff for us to do. And, you know, the director's like, uh, pop up and, you know, breathe in, breathe out. It's mostly just kind of physicalities and stuff pop you know, up. that we were playing yeah, with. I'm sure we tried a lot of different things, you know, coming in from the sides or popping up, popping up or, or dropping down, you know. <laughs> I think, actually, I think they turned it upside down on some of the commercials uh, to pop down from above, yeah. you know. That's cool. It was just, <laughs> there was a, there's a limit to how much different how many different ways you can pop up and and breathe and like you know scream or whatever <laughs> but you know you pretty much exhaust those in about 10 minutes you know <laughs> if that but it is you know it is it is a lot of work because you're coming in and again you're trying to have that energy and everything you know so so um you're holding that intensity and you're <laughs> hyperventilating a lot and giving those screams or whatever and what do we do i think we did we even do screams? I, I think he said, he's yeah. like, don't worry about screaming because we're going to put those in and post, which he did. But, you know, you still have to do it to really sell it, to, to really make it look real. You need to have those real yeah. emotions. And the only way to really do that is to really go through with a lot of that stuff. You know? Right. Makes I was wondering who, in fact, did the scream because I had a friend of mine who was asked, what did they, in fact, do the scream? He's like, no, it sounds more like a woman to me, isn't it? It's not, I don't know why. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. They tried to find it, you know, you dial in the perfect amount of, you know, levels of, uh, you know, high, the highest amount of screeches <laughs> to maximize the contact. Makes sense. It's going to really pierce through everything that everybody's doing to just make them grab their pants. So you said your friend got you into it. Uh, did he come up with a concept, or did KFB, like call him and ask him to find someone for the adverts? Um, you know, so Banked, Banked Johnson was the cinematographer. Um, he was working with this director. I think I think the director was German. It's been so long. Yeah. I think it's Kaiser. I did some research. I believe that's him. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. I think he's the one that came up with the idea. And I don't remember how he knew Banked. Bank was our connection. You'd think we'd go on and do many projects with these guys afterwards, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe now after this documentary comes out, we'll <laughs> finally start rolling with that stuff. What were your thoughts when you saw this after it's completed? I mean, we were super impressed, right? Um, it was 
it was really bizarre watching them um, pop up more and more on social media. Right. Well, this is before a lot of social media was out there, but like on YouTube or you know, Jay Leno showed one of them on his show, and like that was really surreal. They show, they show one of Brad zombie zombie pieces, uh, you know, on there. And that was really fun. And then so I would send it. I remember one time I sent it out to some friends. I go, "Hey guys, check out this commercial I did." <laughs> and uh, their response was, "That's a really good setup, man. I'm gonna do the same thing." <laughs> so That's they're funny. like, "Oh, cool! This is a commercial my buddy did. Is watching it, and I guess it scared the crap out of him. <laughs> so they they thought I'd send it to him as a joke. I'm like, "No, no, no! For real, it was me. I was for really." <laughs> but it turns out it was a really great way to to uh, scare people. Set them. That's up. cool. That's I like but that. It was really fun, man. And, and having that go across, you know. <laughs> being shared across the world and then coming back to us and being shared with us and go, hey guys, check out this video. <laughs> we're like, oh, that's really funny. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I've seen this. I've seen it from the other side of the camera. That was really awesome. Then I heard it won, it won some awards at camp, some, some commercial awards. It was really great. I mean, uh, anything that, that it, you never know what's going to hit, right? You do all sorts of stuff and then, and then uh, you hopefully see your stuff pop up and so, yeah. It was really fun to see this stuff come back. That's cool. Uh, from the start, did people already know that you and Brad were the monsters in the ads? Yeah, nobody nobody recognized us at all for being in these spots, you know? In fact, yeah. I, I would tell people, like, yeah, right. And I'm like, no, it was me. <laughs> and so I had, to, I had to dig up some photos of when we did that. And I think the only photos we had was were, were pictures I took off of my... I had some Samsung flip, some LG flip phone or something like that. <laughs> so old flip phone taking these little, so the pictures were like this big, so the quality is super low. And funny enough, when I was doing some research, I found tons of behind the scenes photos of the crew recording the sets. And I think it was oh. crazy. Yeah, there was a one of um, someone playing golf, you know, the golf one. For yeah. Gold. And it was them setting up the car for the Odo one. Oh, I didn't uh, know that. Pretty cool seeing how it got doing it. Yeah, that was the uh, that was the fun part of the shoot. We were stuck in some tiny little studio in yeah. Hollywood, you know. <laughs> some little hot she's I mean, it must have been like, I don't know, twenty feet by twenty feet studio oh, space we were in. Something tiny. Yeah. You know, basically just like a little prison block shooting our stuff. <laughs> and those guys travel around the world going to beaches and beautiful scenery and yoga yeah. retreats and all that stuff. Interesting. Out of curiosity, do you have any idea where these locations were or would you not know anything at all? Nothing. Nothing. No, we were, oh. we were like, we were just, you know, kept in the dark. Damn. It's a neat to know and we were only, <laughs> we are there to pop up. <laughs> You're just being utilized as a tool, you know. Damn. Yeah. That's all you are at this point. So... The last question is, what was your overall opinion? Like, how would you feel with the popularity over time? Like, how would you feel with the popularity that's gained? I was super proud to be a part of something like that. You know, um, I love the fact that it's it's connected with so many people. It's yeah. it's a really great feeling, and, and it's it's funny. Ooh, there's the fiction people, thing. That's cool. I never seen that. That's awesome. Believing that we were in there in them at all. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> but. Uh, Oh, it's 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 one of those things that's really fun. I'm like, oh, it's a little little uh, part in history, a little piece of yeah. uh, history of commercials, you know. I mean, we like doing stuff like that. My little brother and I, my, my my little brother and I, and their older brother, you know, we've been doing all sorts of stuff together for years, and, and you know, we just love just love making movies and making these fun videos or comedy bits and stuff. That's cool. So, you know, we would do this stuff for free if we could. If we had to. <laughs> that's great. That was commitment. Thank yeah. you. To do it. That's like us, me and my friends. And um, we do short films together as well. Out of fun enjoyment. Because I think it's just no way you're entertaining to get behind the screen. It's just, it's a nice feeling, you know? So it's kind of yeah. like, I like it. Acting Thanks is for really joining fun. Us. I have it, fun It really means a lot to us. Exactly. Yeah, good talk to you too. All right, it was great to talk to you, man. Uh, have a nice night. See ya. It's a pleasure, guys. Bye-bye. That's cool.
What's next? In summer 2019, an American YouTuber under the name of Find a Lurker had Lurker. created 21 videos of what modernized advertisement advertisements for the now defunct yep. Keefe Coffee flavored energy drink would have looked like today. These commercials are similar to the original advertisements the company had originally made. Now, with these ones... Yeah, they, he made them think this, it was actually I'm legit Keefe. I me myself because I generally believe Keefe returned, but it was just so well made. And don't get me started on the end with like the pop and the kind because that is so well done. Yeah. And I'll be interviewing the guy who made these and was the monster soon. And he'll explain how he did all that. Very clever. Hey, man. What are you doing? Hey, guys. You know, I think you understand what we're talking about here, right? Now, would you care to start off by just telling us who you are and where you stand in the key talk? I'm Devin Millard, and I made a lot of nice key people. Millard. Commercial. They want to know what that location is. But then one day I thought, hey, what would these ads look like if they were remade today? And that's when I got started around in 2016. Mm. And for a while, they actually became a little lost in my hard drive. And then in like 2018, I decided to upload them to YouTube to show the world my idea. And there was that. So how did you react when you saw the money? Um, I remember waking up on Saturday morning and looking at my phone and I just remember going, Oh my god! I'm, I'm telling you, I was jumping and screaming. It was it was amazing that my ads became pretty much famous overnight and the fact that people love them so much is probably the greatest feeling in the world. <laughs> Who was the monster in these new KV ads? As you can tell, of course, Check out these pictures. Subscribe and turn the notifications on for men. That looks like the car. A new quarter. There's the fishing one. Can you can tell that's the fisher. Anywhere else? That's the golf. That looks like the golf. Yeah. Brad Johnson. 
add to Josh. Now that's the boardwalk. Gavin Miller. Cool. Special thanks to me. Toby Costa. Zombie. Hey, there I am! Awesome! Oh, hell yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm glad I could help. Alright, so that is the reaction to the KP, the KP documentary, and that is very, very well done. That is, deserves a round of applause. That's very well done. Uh, that gives me a lot of information and stuff that I'm glad I can I can know about. Uh, like I said, when I first found these, when I first found the commercials for the first time back about ten years ago, nine years ago, I could not find any information whatsoever. I could not find the location, film locations. I did not know the actors. And then when I saw Adam Johnson posted to Instagram and Twitter and all that, I wanted to get in touch with him because I was on my Facebook fan page and wanted to. He his page came up and I'm like, hey, that's the. Bad boy or gargoyle actor, I'm going to ask him some questions, and I, I thought he wasn't going to reply, but he's very nice to reply, so very, very cool guy. Um, overall, Reese, this has been a, that's a very cool, very awesome documentary that deserves, that I definitely enjoyed that. If you want to check out the video yourself, uh, link will be down in the description below. Uh, good job on making this, and good job to everybody who was uh, who took in pride of this. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed. Thank you guys a lot for watching. Hope Thanks for sending this long video. Sorry I didn't talk much about the once I get into something, I don't talk much, so I apologize for that. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed for watching. If you did, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, check out my social media down below. As always, thank you guys a lot for watching. I will see you all in a future video. Take it easy.